and welcome back to Dragon Age 2 as we start Act 2. My name is a wish my father made, and I did want to be a knight, but... I see. Still, it's a good name. A strong name. What were you named after? I don't know my real name. My master called me Fenris, his little wolf. Could you not call yourself something different now? Couldn't you? <sighs> a fine point. And in the last three years, all the city's gangs have reset, so... Once again, gotta fight through mobs if I go out after dark. You've certainly come a long way, Meg. Quite the upgrade from Gamlin's house. You've settled in nicely. It's just luck. And skill. Indeed. Still, more coin never hurts, right? Say, if someone wanted to pass some work your way... I'm listening, Aveline. What's the trouble? A thorn in my side inventing trouble and scaring people. Remember Emmerich, the Templar? He wants your help. And some sort of official sanction. Official sanction? For his... investigation. He's convinced that every random murder in the past few years is connected, and he won't be quiet. Seems like it should be easy to prove if there are bodies. Kirkwall isn't the safest place. That doesn't mean everything terrible is related. There's no sense to that. Can't be. You don't think it's worth investigating? I have. He even convinced one of my lieutenants to raid the Dupuy mansion. Nothing there. You wouldn't believe how much ass I had to kiss after that, bloody hobbyist constable. Why can't he spend his declining years building a boat or something? I seem to recall he had some good leads. Then you won't mind chasing his threads. If it leads somewhere, I'll pick it up. Right now, he's just distracting my men. He's in the gallows. Do what you can. Thanks, Hawk. I'll try not to make a habit of this. That's the, uh, the lad I gave the, uh, the smuggler's merchandise to.
on the Bethany decision. It's, uh, she seems a lot happier, um, in the circle than if she were a Grey Warden, which is what happens if you bring her with you to the Deep Roads, and only happens if you have Andrus with you, too. Otherwise, she dies, so... I think she's best in the circle for what it is. If it's between Circle and Grey Warden and, and being dead. Circle's the best of the three. If you need any enchantments, I'm sure my boy. I like the doggy. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Ruff, 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 ruff. Having a nice chat. Having a nice chat. <laughs> Maybe Sandal picked up some Mabari speak from our time at the hero of Ferelden's camp. It's strange living here again. My childhood home. Now owned by my child. It's not something I could have imagined when I was a little girl staring out this window. I'm still grateful you used your money from the expedition to buy back the estate. I feel like an Amel again. Just don't go all pompous on me, all right? I promise. If there's one thing I learned in Ferelden, it's that good people can be born in a hut as easily as a palace. Honestly, after so many years as a peasant's wife, it feels strange to have nothing to do. I visited Bethany at the Circle, and she seems happy enough. I guess I just need to start picking you out a suitable husband. Let's see, where to first? I think we're gonna check in with Varric and uh, Isabella first. It's like you haven't moved in three years. It's easier for people to find me this way. Do you remember the relic I told you about? The one I need to find? I've been following a lead. I'm so close I can taste it. Isn't that what you said last time? Oh, you mean when I went digging for that stash? Yes. That turned out to contain several badly written poems and an old boot. It could have contained the relic. I just thought I'd let you know that I may soon be taking you up on that offer of help. You can count on me. Thanks. I appreciate it. If I learn anything new, you'll be the first to hear about it. Just tell me if you hear more rumblings from the Coterie about protection. Blondie's got enough trouble. Let me ask you something, Hawk. You made it into Hightown. I'd expect anyone else to get complacent, but you... you must have plans. 
No plans yet. I'm simply trying to look out for my mother. After everything that happened with Bethany, that's probably good thinking. To be honest, I thought there might be a chance you'd want to go back to Ferelden now that things have calmed down. It's good to hear you're sticking around. What would I do without my trusty dwarf? I'd cry myself to sleep without you. Oh, don't get all teary-eyed on me, Hawk. You know I can't stand to see a human cry. So, we've got a whole city-state full of trouble to get into. Shall we get started? Don't ingest the moon. is a lot less complex than it used to be. Take that offer, Elf. It'd keep the coterie off your back pretty much permanently. I don't need employment. But it wouldn't kill you to make some friends in this city. Three years and you're practically a ghost. I prefer it that way. Healthy attitude there. <laughs> Forget I said anything. Why do you always win at cards? <laughs> Because I cheat, kitten. <laughs> this trinket, it's elven, isn't it? From your clan. Don't bet anything you're not prepared to lose. Here, have it back. A jigger of your finest whiskey for my friend over here. The hanged man's finest isn't much, but it'll get you just as drunk as anything you'll find in Hightown. And you'll wake up and find someone stolen your trousers. <laughs> That's when you know it's a party. I thought I'd have to watch myself around you, but as it turns out, you're all right. What do you mean, I'm all right? You don't judge people. You're not afraid to get your hands dirty. You know, little things like that. If I had someone like you on board my ship when the... storm hit, maybe we wouldn't have been shipwrecked. Maybe you would have been shipwrecked sooner. I'm a terrible sailor. Are you? I suppose I'll have to keel haul you till you shape up. May not seem like much, but... I've got Isabella locked in for the whole game now.
look for backpacks. That's what we're looking for here. those later uh, too prosaic trapped in a cave with hungry bears right at the spring thaw that lets him off too easy dipped in molten gold and left as a statue in the Viscount's keep ooh that's poetic what are you two talking about what to do to Bartrand when I find him any suggestions Such a drag to have to have Anders as my uh, as my haste buff instead of Bethany for this whole act. That one quest that I just picked up, Sketch, he's a, he's a mage uh, party member during the Leliana's DLC. I like the Chantry. This is the only place in Hightown where the Merchant's Guild won't come looking for me. here and recruit our final party member now. There are still many refugees that needed some... So what do you do in that gigantic Dance, of course. Really? I run from room to room, choreographing routines. <laughs> You're actually joking. Alert the Chantry. They need to put this on the calendar. It's always serious. I see, Tori. Forgive me, Your Grace. I thought it would end here. That young lady, Hawk, she decimated Flint Company. No survivors. Yet, now that I know who sent them, it's harder to see their deaths as justice. Death is never justice. My... Hawk? We were just talking about you. Carry on. 
I love to eavesdrop. Hawk said sarcastically. You know, I hate it when you do that. Hawk muttered in an angry aside to the dwarf. If, uh, you two have a moment, I've learned who hired Flint Company. The Harrimans, a noble family of Kirkwall. They were my parents' allies. It's hard to believe they betrayed us like this. Tell me about this family. Lord Harriman used to be a good man, but he became rather strange in his dotage. He died some years back. His daughter took over the family, Lady Johane Harriman. They say she's become quite reclusive of late. Any idea why they turned on you? Money? Power? It's hard to say. Lady Harriman was always jealous of my family for being royalty when hers were mere nobility. But I can't imagine that pushing her into outright murder. This is why the cycle of violence never gets broken. You jest, but that's the truth. Give this up, Sebastian. Dedicate yourself to the Chantry as you swore. I must speak with Lady Harriman and find out what drove her to this madness. But I am the last of my line. I should not go alone and make myself a target. If I'm standing beside you, that should make her think twice. Again, your interest in my plight humbles me. If you like, I can travel with you until you confront Lady Harriman. Otherwise, you can always find me here in the Chantry. Gain some marital rivalry here. And Meryl, she's a blood mage, so doesn't need a big mana pool.
That. Do it. So the Seneschal's tax collector won't be coming around again like you asked. Funny story. I'll pass, but thank you for the help. Spoil sport. Why you want to squat up here in Hightown is beyond me. I like the view. So do I. Three years. There's still no sign of Daenerys. I'm beginning to wonder if he's finally given up. This is his mansion, isn't it? He must know you're here. Would you be surprised to learn that it isn't, in fact, his mansion? It belongs to a Tevinter merchant, one who has evidently given up on the place. Perhaps he is dead. Perhaps Daenerys killed him. Either way, if Daenerys is aware of my presence, he has done nothing. Don't tell me you're going to miss all the attention. Tell me, what do you do when you stop running? You take a breath and look around. And start anew. I don't know how. My first memory is receiving these markings. The lyrium being branded into my flesh. The agony wiped away everything. Whatever life I had before I became a slave, it's lost. I shouldn't trouble you with this. My problems are not yours. You don't know who you were? Fenris was the name Daenerys bestowed upon me, his little wolf. If I once had another name or a family, then they were taken from me. But again, this is not your concern. Your problems are my problems. Unlucky you. But enough. You have much to keep you busy, I'm certain. Five years, still there. Not a pretty home. Yeah, clean. Really. Don't come running to me next time you pick up one of these diseases. Isn't that the point of magic? I don't want to know. Things just keep getting worse. I had Templars practically on my doorstep the other night. The Templars are hunting you? Not me specifically. They were just checking the refugee camps. But it's not like this place is a secret. It's only a matter of time. 
I can't say you've been keeping a low profile. The Knight Commander is out of control. Even her own people have been talking about it. The curfews, the midnight raids on mages' families. Everyone I know forced into hiding so they won't be made tranquil. Justice must not know where to turn first. In the Fade, there is no time. Emotion rules everything. Justice doesn't know how to sit idle until the right moment to strike. And I can't say I have any greater patience. I fear what my anger has made of my friend. You chose to merge with him. Only you can make it work. I am trying. I have not attacked the Templars openly. I've helped the mages here as best I can, but this impasse cannot last. One day, everyone in Kirk will, will have to choose a side. That's not ominous at all, is it? No better place to disappear. You have coin to spare, Messer. My children are starving. I hope this helps. Thank you. Make a smile on you. Is there something you want, Anders? I really don't have the time for a slave. Is that a compliment or an insult? I'm just wondering how your master didn't kill you. How have the Templars not killed you? I'm charming. Need to get closer. Five random groups of assassins you run into for that little quest. Aren't half as bad as the deep roads. 